Fourier cosine transform of f of x is equal to x into e to the power minus ax. Okay, so what is Fourier cosine transform formula? Fourier cosine transform formula is fc of s is equal to integral 0 to infinity f of x cos s x dx. Okay, so now what is f of x? Look at the question and tell me my f of x is x into e to the power minus ax cos s x dx. Okay. Now I have to solve this integral. Okay. To solve this integral, if I only had e term and cos term, I have a formula which is easy to do. But here I have an extra x term. So I used an identity. Okay. So what is the identity? Fourier cosine transform of x into f of x is equal to d by ds of Fourier sine transform of s. Yes. Okay. To make it even more simpler, what is my question? Fourier cosine transform of x into, what is it? x, what is my f of x? My f of x is x into e to the power minus ax. So, x into e to the power minus ax can be written as d by ds of Fourier sine transform of f of x. Okay, I am writing this for your understanding only. Okay, so now this can be written as d by ds of f Fourier sine transform of. So now when I compare this, what is my f of x? My f of x is e to the power minus ax. Okay, so e to the power minus ax is my f of x. Okay, so what I should do? First, I should find out Fourier sine transform of f of x. Okay. So, the first step is I will find out Fourier sine transform of f of x. And the second step, step is I will differentiate that. That is d by ds into Fourier sine transform of f of x. Okay. So, now this will be equal to my, my Fourier cosine transform of x into e to the power minus ax. Clear? So let's do this one by one. So what is my first step? My first step is to find Fourier sine transform of f of x. So what is f of x here? f of x is e to the power minus ax. Okay, so let me do that first. So Fourier sine transform of f of x is equal to, yes, integral, I can shorten this as Fourier sine transform of yes is equal to integral 0 to infinity, okay, f of x sine yes x dx, okay. So, what is my f of x? Integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus ax sine yes x dx. So, how do I solve this? I have a formula to solve this integral 0 to infinity e to the power ax sine bx dx is equal to e to the power ax by a square plus b square into a sine bx minus b sine sorry b cos dx. Okay. Since it is e term together with the sine term, I will first start with sine and I will put a minus sign. Now compare both. Here, instead of a, I have minus a and instead of b, I have yes. So, how do I solve this integral? e to the power minus ax by minus a the whole square plus yes the whole square into minus a sine yes x minus yes cos yes x and what is the limit? The limit is 0 to infinity. We clearly know that e to the power minus infinity is 0 and e to the power 0 is 1. 
Okay, so now when I substitute the limit, what happens? It is the upper limit minus the lower limit. So when I substitute the upper limit, it becomes e to the power minus infinity. So what is e to the power minus infinity? e to the power minus infinity is 0. So why is it 0? Because e to the power minus infinity is 0. So upper limit minus, what is my lower limit? My lower limit is 0. So it becomes e to the power 0 by a square plus s square. And also we know sine 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1. So this becomes, this part becomes 0. So 0 minus cos s, x becomes cos 0. So minus s into 1. Okay, so when I simplify this, minus into minus is plus e to the power 0 is 1. 1 by a square plus s square and in the numerator I have an s. Okay, so what is Fourier sine transform of yes. Fourier sine transform of yes is yes by y square plus s square. Okay, so this is the first thing we have to find out. Okay, so after the first thing is over, what is the second thing I have to do? I have to differentiate the Fourier sine transform to get my Fourier cosine transform. So I will write the identity again. So Fourier cosine transform of x into f of x is equal to d by ds of Fourier sine transform of s. Okay, so what is my Fourier sine transform? I found out d by ds is equal to, what is Fourier sine transform of s? It is s by a square plus s square. Okay, so to differentiate this, I consider this as u and this as v. Okay, so we clearly know the formula is first I will take the denominator a square plus s square the whole square. Then what do I do? I write the v as such a square plus s square. I differentiate the numerator with respect to s. So when I differentiate s with respect to s, what happens? It becomes 1 minus I write s as such that is u as such and I differentiate v. So when I differentiate v with respect to s, a square is a constant it becomes 0 and this is plus 2 yes. Okay so now let me solve this a square plus s square minus into plus is minus 2 yes square by a square plus s square the whole square. So here it becomes a square. Okay, plus and minus. So I put a minus. 2 minus 1 is 1. Yes square by a square plus s square the whole square. Okay, so we have found out for your cosine transform of x into e to the power minus ax is written as a square minus s square by a square plus s square the whole square. So in this problem, since we have an x together with e to the power minus ax, to make the problem simpler, we are using an identity. Okay, this identity is making the problem easier. Okay, so when you know the identity, the problem is very easy. Clear? Yeah? If you have any doubts, you can contact me.